Hi, I'm Rick Wright, a career specialist with the Career Center, which is a free service of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. And in this video, we want to show you how to organize your job search using Google Sheets. When you're looking for a job, staying organized is important because there are many pieces of information that you need to keep track of. For example, what was that job opening you saw the other day? And where was it on which website? Which jobs have you applied for and at what stage of the process are you? The next part is especially important. What was the username and password you created for that job application website? Now we regularly see patrons come in and they use notebooks and pads of paper to keep track of this. And that's a wonderful method. Last year, we led a seminar on how to use Google Sheets to organize your job search. And we wanted to create a video to share this other helpful method with you. I'm going to share my screen. First, I wanna show you the Career Center website, which is at careercenterbr.com that has a wealth of resources to help you with your career or especially with your job search. Now, in order to use Google Sheets to organize your job search, you do need to have a Google or Gmail account. And we have another video that shows you how to do that. If you do have a Google or Gmail account, then go to the address bar, type google.com and hit enter. Let me take myself out of the picture. And then you sign in, click on sign in and sign in with your Gmail or Google account information. I'm going to use a real account for a fictitious person who is Jane Q Public 1976. You can hit enter or click on next. And then JNQ Public's password. I'm going to click on don't save. I don't want the browser to remember the password. All right. Now, see this square of little dots in the upper right corner? Click on that. There are two ways to create a Google Sheet to organize your job search. I'm gonna show you this method, which is see where it says drive and the triangle, click on that. All right, this takes us to our Google Drive, which is actually free and it is part of a Google account. To create a Google Sheet, see this button here that says new, click on that. Scroll down a little bit to Google Sheets and click on that. That opens a new tab with a Google Sheet. First, we wanna take a moment and get oriented to what a Google Sheet looks like. Google Sheet, by the way, is very similar to Microsoft Excel, although there are some interesting differences. Each sheet contains little rectangles called cells that are organized into rows, one, two, three, and so on and columns such as A, B, C, and so on. Each cell has an address based on its column and row, such as this cell, which is cell A1. And you can click on a cell to add text, to format it, to add functions and formulas. First, let's add some headings to our sheet. You can use the ones I am going to use in this video or you can make up your own. So I click in the, this first cell in row one, column A. Let's do job position. Click in the next cell, company name. This job opening is with which business or company? Next cell. What is the job location? What is its physical location? Perhaps an address or zip code? Salary or hourly rate? How much does it pay? You have a little bit of a problem. You notice that it 
it goes past the width of the column. So put the cursor over the boundary between columns D and E, double click, and that stretches the column so that it includes uh, the information in the cell that is the widest. Let's click in the next cell. Website URL. Basically, what is the internet address for that job posting? The next cell, notes. The next cell, username. For most online job applications, you have to create an account either with the job search website or with that company website. What's the username? And this is important, what is the password? Click on the next column, progress. A quick tip, by the way, is you can use, just hit tab and that will take you to the next cell in that row. It's a little easier and faster than using a mouse. Before we continue, let's, let's format our headings a little bit. I'm gonna click on the first cell, hover the cursor over the rightmost cell, then shift left click, that means choose this whole row. Click on the B for bold, and see this alignment button, horizontal align, click on that and choose the one in the middle. So I want everything centered. All right, that looks pretty good. Oops, something happened here. Let's double click this boundary again. There we go, that looks good. The next step is pretty cool. You can use your Google Sheet to track the status of each application in your job search. And a good way to do this is by using data validation. Uh, that sounds intimidating, but I'm gonna show you what that is, how to do it, and it's very cool. Data validation helps you control what kind of data or what kind of information you enter in your sheet. And it can create a drop down list of choices for each cell so that you don't have to keep typing the same word or the same phrase every time. Now, the column that tracks progress is column I. So click on the I above progress that chooses the column. And see this little arrow on the side? Click on that. This is a list of options for this column. Click on the gray bar, drag it down, and click on data validation. This opens the data validation window. And next to criteria, there's a list of choices. What kind of data validation? You can have a list from a range, list of items, and so on. Let's choose list of items. And we are going to create the list of items that you can choose for this column. Click in the box where it says enter items separated by a column. And we're going to add some choices. You can use the ones that I'm using in this video or you can create your own. For example, type have not started. I have not started that job application, comma. It's in progress. I haven't finished the application, but I started it. And you can go back and finish. Submitted. That's a good one. You want to get to that stage as often as possible. Interview scheduled, Col uh, comma, Inter uh, and then offer received. That's a pretty good list. Now click on save. Congratulations. Now every cell in column I has a little drop down menu. And as you enter information in each row for a job opening, what's the position, with whom, where, how much does it pay, where on the internet, any notes, you created an account for that website, username and password. When you get to progress, click in the cell under progress, see the little arrow for the drop down menu, click on that, and there you go, there's our there's our own drop down menu to track your progress for each job opening. Have not started in progress, submitted, and so on. Finally, let's give 
our Google Sheet a name because right now it's titled Untitled Spreadsheet. Click in this box. It's highlighted. That means it's ready for us to give it a new name. You can give it your own name. In this video, let's go with My Job Search 2021 and hit enter. All right, now your Google Sheet has a nice name that shows you what this is for. Your job search sheet is now ready for you to put information in each cell in each row. So let's demonstrate this. Go towards the top of your internet browser, see the plus sign, click on that, and that opens a new tab. So we can look for jobs in this tab, but also go back to this other tab that has our Google Sheet where we can put the information. So let's go back to our job search tab. There's many good job search websites. For the sake of this video, let's choose Indeed. Click in the address bar, indeed.com, and hit enter. All right, we want to look for job openings listed on this website in the Baton Rouge area. And again, we, let's pick a good example. Let's go with forklift operator. So type in, click in what? Forklift operator. Go over to find jobs and click on that. All right, it gives us a nice list of 93 forklift operator jobs in the Baton Rouge area, not all of which are called forklift operator. Let's go with the first one. Now, we could click on this but in order to show you how this works, how to take the information and put it in your Google Sheet, right click on warehouse operator, right click on the job posting, scroll down to open link in new tab. So we're gonna look at this job opening in a different tab, click on this new tab. You can click on apply now, but we can also look, use this information for our Google Sheet. Now, Let's go back to our Google Sheet. Click on that tab. Job position. Let's go back to the job opening tab. Uh, tab. Warehouse operator. Google Sheet. Warehouse operator. I'm going to hit tab to get to the next column. Company name. Who is this with? It's with AccuTemp Services. Let's go back to the Google Sheet. AccuTemp Services. Tab to take us to the next column. Job location, where is it? It doesn't give a street address, but it does give us a zip code. Let's go use the zip code, 70815. Highlight it. I'm going to use uh, copy paste. Control C for copy. Back to the tab. Control V for paste. How much does it pay? Click on this bar drink down where, show me the money. Well, it doesn't say, that's not very helpful. That's true for a lot of job postings on job search websites. So we're gonna leave that blank on our website. What's the web address? Now this is the tricky part. We could, what we can do, there's two ways to do it. For the purposes of this video, go up here to the search bar where the job opening is open. Click Control C for copy. Go back to the Google Sheet. Control click in the cell under website. Control V for paste. Boom. And there is the internet address for this job opening. It's pretty long, but if we want to go back to it to finish the application or to start applying, if we did not, that's how we can find it again. I'm going to use the arrows to get to notes. I don't have any notes, and I have not created a, an account with the Indeed website yet. But when you do, this is where you do it. Username, password. Now, progress. We have not yet applied, started to apply for this job. We haven't clicked on apply now. So let's go back to our Google Sheet. Click on the drop down menu, have not started, and there we go. When you do apply for the job, you can then change this, go back to your Google Sheet, and change it to in progress or even submitted. 
and so on. Before we finish the video, you might have the question, well, this is great. I've created this Google Sheet that saves all this good information for my job search, but how do I get back to it? Click on the tab that has, your, has Drive. Now let's imagine that you want that, right now it's showing in your Google Drive. It's right here. You can click on this to open up your Google Sheet. Let's imagine that you have signed out. So let's go ahead and, and click on this. We're gonna sign out. In fact, let's remove this. So click in the address bar, google.com. Click on sign in. Sign into your Google account, in this case, JNQ Public. You can hit enter or click on the next button. I'm going to hit enter. Whoop. Password. Always know your email or Google password. Always. Never, ever lose it or forget it if you can at all help it. Say don't save. Remember how we get to our Google Drive? The little square of dots. Click on that. Click on Drive. This takes us to our Google Drive. And there it is, my job search. Let's imagine that we close this out. Double click. And it opens up our Google Sheet in a new tab. And that is how you get back to your sheet. And you can continue searching for jobs, applying for jobs, and then taking the information and saving it in your Google Sheet. Well, thank you very much for your interest and thank you for watching this video. We hope this was helpful and shows you how it's one more tool that you can use to organize your job search and keep track of information. If you liked this video, please click on the like button and you can also click on the subscribe button so that you can continue to follow videos to help you with your career or your job search as we upload them to our YouTube channel. And thank you.